friends now uh, we are going to shoot one video on the, the practical based on metrogen quality control and the title is measurement of a thread parameter using floating carriage diameter measuring machines now this is a very important machine wherein we can identify the major diameter we can find out the minor diameter as well as we can find out the effective diameter before going to start the reading actual reading let us first understand what is the parts of the floating carriage machine now this is the base this one is base on the base the second portion of the machine is mounted that this is lower slide which is going to move okay this is the upper side or the top side and all this means the lower side is mounted on the base along with the balls through this ball it can move it can float okay then the upper pa upper side or top side is mounted on the lower side and again it is move with the help of uh, balls inside it now about to this this base is entirely been hardened material made up of steel and this is called a pillars on the pillar these two centers are mounted now as per as the top side is concerned this is a, these are again the pillars on the pillars this is this arrangement is based now what is this arrangement on one side there is a drum on the drum there are the scale we will see later on what are the scales on the drums on the other side there is a fiducial indicator which indicate the pressure or the amount of pressure exerted on the component now these are the standard wires which we are going to use for measurement of effective diameter and you can see the diameter of this standard wire is mentioned and this is 1.36 okay so there are the different set which are available for measuring the different piece diameter of an screw thread okay the arrangement is like this now you are going to see the arrangement before carrying out the actual experimentation or measuring of the screw thread terminology of any component first we have to mount the standard piece having the diameter is equals to the diameter of the piece of the component which is going to measure and then later on once we took the reading we are going to remove this standard masterpiece with the actual screw thread component and what we are going to measure we are going to measure the effective diameter now what is that we will see in actual paper okay so what is what is the practical practical is measuring of the screw thread with the help of two wire method using floating carriage and here we are going to use the metric thread and this is my metric thread okay and it is mentioned that the diameter of metric thread also we will see later on while explaining the actual case now this is the actual condition of our practical okay so this is the screw thread this is called the crest this is truck or a valley inside the crest and valley we are going to use the standard wire we are inserting standard wire into this so we will go in a detail later on now if i took this distance means from crest to crest crest from one side crest from other side okay this is my edge and and the diameter this edge is called as a major diameter and if i took the distance from this truff to truff then this is my minor diameter okay now coming back to the effective diameter for the purpose we are going to carry out the experimentation and this is my effective diameter 
effective diameter means it is a imaginary line passing through the this crest in between the crest and the valley okay or other way uh, other way we can say from from the flanks flanks to flanks of the screw thread now see the another diameter another diagram wherein this is my standard wire okay and as that this wire this wire here i am i already placed okay this is not going to touch the crest sorry trough of the screw thread okay this is touching to this portion and see the geometry what we have to identify we have to calculate the effective diameter we will see gradually one by one now here in this case i have already used the metric thread so for metric thread pitch is the what is the pitch value p equals to 0.866 into p minus d okay so we have to calculate the d d is my effective uh, sorry standard wire diameter then we gradually go and uh, from the formula from this diagram o e and g this this portion o e g sin theta means we have to calculate the theta sin theta sin of theta by because this is entirely a theta and we are divided this into half of the theta so sin theta is equals to o e upon o g and with the help of that we have calculated a q okay so again coming back to the same diagram you can understand what is the effective diameter this is my line which is imaginary line which is passing through the center of the crest and the trough okay then then i am going to go in a detail how to read the dimensions so we will go later on how to read the dimensions uh now again coming back to the back to the arrangement sir have helped me okay now i have fitted this two standard set of wire e with a equal dimensions and i have already told you in initial 1.35 mm okay this two wire they are in between these two uh, anvils of anvils of this micrometer as well as pudicel indicator now again see this this pudicel indicator must indicate the value 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 means it should be at the center so that we have whatever the pressure we have applied it is equal in both the cases now again going to the micrometer because this is my drum on the drum you are going to see the three different scales okay this is one scale we are going to say that this is the main scale second is vernier scale and this is my circular scale okay how to read the dimensions or the measurement what we have to carry out now again i am going back to the back to the my diagram which i have already mentioned now as we have seen the actual case of the drum so this is my circular scale okay on the circular scale means one if we rotate this how many number of divisions on this we will see later on so this is my circular scale this is my vernier scale and this is my main scale so i have already plot one picture this is my main scale on the main scale i have already i am not going to open right now so total number of divisions are 0 to 25 0 to 25 i have mentioned and on this total number of divisions are 0 to 5 means vernier scale uh, divisions are 5 and on the circular scale you are you are seeing that 0.5 0.15 0.2 so total number of divisions on the circular scales are 250 okay so how to calculate the final reading so to take the final reading there is one formula for final reading main scale reading whatever the main scale reading now we will see later on what is main scale reading plus circular scale reading circular scale reading into least count into least count of the circular scale plus vernier scale now you have already seen the vernier scale and its least count so so how to calculate the least count first we will calculate the least count of this circular scale and the least count of this vernier scale so many in many of the colleges uh, drum size is bigger and they have used some different uh, references like they have said that this is my uh, vernier scale 1 vs1 
and this is vs2 but in our case i am just saying that this is my circular scale this is my vernier scale and this is my main scale so again coming back to this what is the least count of this okay so as i already told you total divisions on circular scale i have already calculated the total number of divisions on the circular scale this is equals to 250 and total number of division on vernier scale are 10 and smallest measurable value on the main scale is 0. So, what is the smallest measurable value on the main scale? As I already told you, there are 25 divisions. So, each division is counting 0. 0.5. Okay. So, to calculate the list count, to calculate the list count of this circular scale with the main scale, main scale and circular scale. So, list count equals to smallest measurable measurable division on the main scale upon total number of divisions total number of divisions total number of divisions on the circular scale okay so what is that value is lc means list count equals to 0.5 as i already told you smallest division is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 likewise 25 number of divisions on the main scale so 0 0.5 divided by 250 250 number of divisions on the circular scale if i rotate so rotate this drum so total number of divisions are 250 so what is this this list count is 0 0.02. So, what we have calculated? We have calculated the list count for main scale and the circular scale. Now, again there is a another vernier scale. In many of the colleges, they are saying that this is my vernier scale 1, 2. Likewise, second list count we have to calculate for the vernier scale. As I already told you, this is my vernier scale. So, list count by consideration of circular scale means list count consideration of the circular scale upon total number of divisions on vernier scale total number of divisions on vernier scale you are you you, you are now uh, in a condition to see this what is that so earlier we have calculated a list count considering the circular scale so that is 0 0.002 and the total number of divisions are 10 so 0 0.002 upon 10 that comes around 0 0.002 mm okay so now we have two two list count now again coming back to the reading i have already calculated the reading i am just i just draw the diagram over here you can see just sir please show this actual case and then i am going to i am going to explain the diagram now again coming back to this now from the video which we have already carried out you have already seen the readings readings with the uh, standard wire inserted on the masterpiece so what is that reading is so reading is indicating the 10th division and then later on again one division so 10th division and one division this is my as i already told you this is my vernier scale vernier scale this is my main scale okay and this is my circular scale so we have already calculated the two list count one list count with main scale with circular scale and second with the circular scale with the vernier scale so what is that if we really look at to this so the what what the uh, you have seen the one division means second division is coinciding here here 0 0.32 0 0.32 so these divisions as i already told you there are 250 divisions so this division is 167th 167th division is matching with the 10 after 10 after 10 because it is not exactly uh, 11 so it is 10 point say 5 okay so 10 point 5 and uh, this is 170 167th division on the circular scale is matching with the second division of the vernier scale see there is jumbling into your mind when because this is very difficult uh, to calculate uh, the reading by the students so again i am just summarizing what is the first what are our observations our observations are that at after 10th there is one division which is matching with the circular divisions okay and which is the division of circular scale the 167th division of the circular scale is matching with the second division of the vernier scale so i am going to put all this value into my formula what was my formula formula was final reading equals to final reading equals to <coughs> means first 
मेन स्केल रीडिंग सो इट इज इंडिकेटिंग टेन पॉइंट समथिंग आई एम आई हैव टेकन टेन पॉइंट फाइव मेन स्केल रीडिंग प्लस 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 सर्कुलर स्केल रीडिंग सर्कुलर स्केल रीडिंग सर्कुलर स्केल रीडिंग वॉट इज दैट डिविजन इज वन सिक्सटी सेवंथ डिविजन ओके एंड वेन आई एम कंसिडरिंग द डिविजन ऑन दर्निय स्केल सॉरी सर्कुलर स्केल एंड आई हैव टू टेक द लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो सो वॉट इज दैट वन सिक्सटी सेवंथ डिविजन इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू दिस इज द फर्स्ट लिस्ट काउंट इन कंसल्टेशन विद द मेन स्केल एंड द सर्कुलर स्केल सो वन सिक्सटी सेवन इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू प्लस First division, as I already told you, first division of the Vernier scale is matching with the 166th, 167th division of the circular scale. So 1 into 0.002. This is my second uh, list count. In some of the cases, it is mentioned that Vernier scale 2. So list count of Vernier scale 2. 1 into 0.002. So what is that value? 10.5. 10.5 plus. 167th into 0.002. I have already told you 0.022. So this comes around 0.334 plus first division of the main uh, Vernier scale is matching with the 167th division of the Vernier uh, main scale. Sorry, uh, circular scale. So this comes around 0.002. So told all together, what is the reading of initial case reading In, when we are putting this on the uh, Uh, standard piece then the reading is 10.834 mm okay so this is my first reading of the standard pitch piece which i have already uh, fixed on the my floating carriage similar reading similar reading we have to take for this this uh, piece uh, screw thread piece and then again similarly we have to calculate the readings okay so with this uh, i think you understand how to calculate the readings on the floating carriage meter thank you now we now we are going to uh, replace this master cylinder with this screw thread okay and then we took the second set of the reading अच्छी रीडिंग की तरह करा किसी फॉर्मूला ना तो इसे डायरेक्ट किया ये वैल्यू डाल कहाँ नहीं सुधरे हमलोग डी प्लस आर प्लस तो ताको नहीं तो ताको और ताको चलें हाँ अंतिम तुम चाहे वैल्यू डाल कहाँ पॉइंट्स आउट नहीं चाहिए जरूरी ना इफेक्ट डाल वाटर फॉर्मूला इक्वल टू इफेक्टिव फॉर्म्यूला बरोबर आहे ना हां डी प्लस मायनस प्लस मायनस आता याचा आता आर1 काय आता आर1 हा होता ना आर1 डी1 आहे तर डी1 नाही हा डी1 हे पूर्ण डायमीटर आहे तेन टी1 आहे ना हा डी आहे ना अब हे रीडिंग काय आहे डी1 आहे ना हे डायमीटर आहे ना हे जणी मग करायला लागला ना रेडियस हा 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 म्हणजे आता सांगतो मी आता मलाही कन्फ्यूजन झाली इथे म्हणून म्हणलं या एनसी सु वेगळे जर नाही आता आपलं जर्नल कुठे बघा ना आपले जर्नल मध्ये काय सांगणार तर फॉर्म्युलास नाही दिसत हो ते बरोबर आहे प्लस मायनस त्यांची नोटेशन वेगळी आहेत तुमच्या डायग्राम मध्ये तुम्ही नोटेशन कुठली डायग्राम कुठून काढली तुम्ही ती कागदावरची कोणती ती नोट ती ती डायग्राम आताची ठीक आहे ती मी ऑनलाईन काढलेली आहे नाही नो ते तेच नोटेशन तुम्हाला वापरायला लागला ना फॉर्म्युला फॉर्म्युला वेगळे कशी नोटेशन वापरणार तुम्ही नाही बघा हे असं आहे बघा का रीडिंग ऑन द स्टँडर्ड सिलेंडर ती किती आहे दहा मग त्याला काय तुम्ही देणार आहे आर1 का आर2 काय स्टँडर्ड सिलेंडरचा आर1 आहे ते हा मग त्याला काय तिथं पत्ते D1 है अब तार इधर उसका 10.5 नहीं नहीं सर ये रीडिंग ऑन स्टैंडर्ड पीस है R1 है अन्य ये R2 है है जो है कहाँ है रीडिंग ऑन स्टैंडर्ड सिलेंडर एंड रीडिंग ऑन बर्थी के साथ थ्रेड कंपोनेंट तो वो तुम चीज़ रीडिंग आ रही है बरोबरी दाह पॉइंट सत्तर नोटिया रात साउंड
काय तुम्ही सांगा आता थोडंसं जरा मॅच करा हे बरोबर आहे ना हे असं जसं रेडिंग आलं ना आता आलं तुमचं दुसरं काहीतरी तेरा चौदा आलं मेजर हे आलं पूर्ण जाऊ चल बस करून वाटतं हे काय करायचं नाही तर नका ते कट करून टाका बंद करू बंद करू